uh, with a lot of my earlier work, there was a lot of struggle. I'm not saying there isn't a struggle, but like a lot of the struggle at the moment takes place with me sitting on a chair, staring at them. Whereas before, a lot of that struggle took place literally on the surface. I was like sort of trying to figure out what I was doing, literally working on the surface. That struggle seems to have been transplanted to sitting on the chair, pondering uh, what I'm doing. Well, people coming into the studio, they always ask, where do you get your ideas? And this sort of dreaded word, inspiration, always comes up. Where do you get your inspiration? So this is some kind of like magical practice where you wait for the gods of creativity to bestow a moment of creation on you. That's not really how it works. Uh, ideas and inspiration come from work and practice. Uh, the fabric story is still relatively new for me. Each time you do it, it kind of develops a bit further and you become more familiar and comfortable with what you're doing and more familiar with the process involved. Sometimes it's quite nice to just have something to do that doesn't involve having to make some momentous decision on a work, which is sometimes a relief. The idea for an exhibition obviously is to present a coherent presentation of a particular body of work and one of the things that helps that is obviously bringing all the pieces up at the same time, working on them at the same time. There's, there's dark humour. I won't necessarily go ahead and say that that was my deliberate intention. I mean, this dog is looking quite vicious. The text on the painting says another day with my dog. Much as it's also man's best friend, it's also been trained and used for subjugation. It's the texture of the canvas and the way the canvas has been treated has something sort of quite gritty and urban about it. I definitely, I, I can't see myself sitting out of town and on, on some lovely little farm or something with a wonderful view and, you know, waking up and having my tea or coffee on the stoop and admiring the landscape and then heading off to my studio. Uh, that kind of stuff doesn't really, doesn't really drive any of my work. I mean, we're in a kind of uncomfortable part of town here. Um, and I think that's kind of important for me, that sort of s sense of discomfort. I don't think as white people we really understand or can comment or talk too much about that. We still get in our cars at the end of the day and drive back to suburbia. too comfortable making work, I, I think uh, the work can also suffer and become kind of contrived. I'm definitely trying to create something beautiful too. I want the, the viewer to recognize the darkness, be absorbed and recognize the beauty in it too. When I first established my relationship with the gallery and they, they liked all these large paintings of mine but they were like, Shit, you know, don't you have anything smaller? But I think to our very pleasant surprise, there is a market for my larger works and they have sold quite regularly. Everybody's entitled to comment but at, at the end of the day you can't really take them too seriously because you know, I'll have a particular piece and uh, like a, a kind of 
critic who knows who's involved in the art will come in and say something about it and another artist in the studio and artists themselves will come and say something else about it a random friend of mine who comes to visit who's not really connected with art will come and say something else about it in the end you kind of just have to trust your own your own judgment Again, I, I want people to be drawn in. I want them to stop. I want them to look. <laughs>